What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you something really cool. I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking spider facade in Revit. It's like a curtain wall but it's a special way of attaching all of the glass panels. And uh, we're going to be modeling this as a couple of nested families. But before we get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this file just check out my Patreon first link into in the description. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and for this uh, we're going to be making a few families. So here I'm just going to go to families, new and for the template uh, for the first one I'm going to choose uh, the generic uh, face based. So gen metric generic model face based and I'm just going to be opening that up. And this is something that we're going to be getting. And so this this is basically some sort of a mock-up uh, face on which you're attaching your family. So I'm going to go here to the reference level and just go to create, extrusion. And now I'm just going to go to the middle of this thing and pull out a 45 degree line at like, I don't know, like 260 millimeters. And then I'm just going to go like this. So from the inside going like that to the end of this thing. So kind of like that. Okay, now you select this thing, you type double M for mirror with uh, pick axis, and now I'm just going to cap this off with a simple uh, arc and delete this middle line. Actually, I might want to make this a bit thinner, kind of like that. So I'm just going to delete this, select this DM now for draw mirror and go all the way to the other side. Yeah, I think this looks a bit better now. Okay, so I just, I'm just i just going to hit finish, go into 3D and uh, just extrude this kind of like that and just give it a bottom offset of something like 30 millimeters. Okay, so once you have something that looks like this, now you need to add another reference plane. So just go to reference level, go to create and go to reference plane or you can use the shortcut RP. So just RP is the shortcut and just do one reference plane like this. And let's name it. So I'm just going to name it A. Uh, you just have to have a name. It doesn't really matter what it says. So let's just go to 3D. And now let's pick that reference plane. So just go to create, uh, set reference plane, go pick a plane, pick a plane A, OK. Go with void forms, void extrusion, and let's just start picking lines. So just pick the outside line over here and pick this top line. And because you can't pick really this uh, edge because it's round, you just go from here all the way down and perhaps you close it like that. Okay, so once you have that something that looks uh, kind of like this, uh, now you need to go from the top all the way to the bottom over here. So it's going to look something like this. So I'm just going to go like this to the middle line and then kind of extend it all the way down. And you can extend it kind of like that. Then you can use a second line like this perhaps. Or maybe, yeah, maybe do it like that. Maybe attach it a bit higher. Maybe this a bit, okay just to get some proportions that look nice. Okay, so now you go with trim and extend and you trim and extend this, trim and extend that, trim and extend this, trim and extend that. Okay, you hit finish, you extend it to the other side and you get something that looks like this. So this is one of those arms on the spider facade. It has like four of them. So we just need to create one for now. So you just do like that. Then you go to reference level, you zoom in over here, you go create, extrusion, uh, you pick a line that goes maybe like this, perhaps like that. Then you go maybe a little circle over here. Okay, you delete this, you hit finish. And now let's go into 3D and let's extend this circle going from here all the way to the bottom face. Okay, once we have that, let's just create one larger circle. So just go reference level, create, extrusion, and just go from the middle of that one and give it like, I don't know, something like 15 millimeters, hit finish. And uh, let's just go into 3D. Yeah, it looks like this, but it should really be something like three millimeters thick. Okay, maybe we can make this a bit thicker. So yeah, let's do this at two millimeters. Yeah, it looks a bit better. Okay, so once we have this uh, kind of uh, the attachment part, we just need to join everything together. So just go join geometry over here and you join this thing, that thing, there you go. Now you select the whole thing 
and you go over here to material and let's choose a material for this so I'm just going to type in ALU aluminium and let's just choose something like this hit apply okay and it's finished okay you just need one of these and now you're done now you can uh, jump into the second family which will be the panel so just go here to new uh, new family let's just find uh, curtain wall panel and open that up okay so once you have this go to the exterior face and create an extrusion over here so just go extrusion rectangle and go like this you lock everything in place on all sides and you go 10 millimeters for the glass of course you can choose whichever thickness of glass you want I'm just going to choose 10 millimeters for uh, for this particular task and you hit finish Okay, let's set this material to glass then, so just type in G-L-A-S-S, -S, and there you go, glass. Okay, so once we have this, now we need to add our little spider facade uh, clamps or attachment points. So to do that, uh, go back to your family, let's see where it is, okay, here it is. You go load into project, and here it is now. Now you go to the exterior side, or perhaps better interior side, of course, and go to create, uh, component and here as you can see now you can place it so you just go like this and you place it kind of like this uh, not completely in the corner but kind of offset a little bit and I'm going to show you why and I'm just getting the space here to rotate this around so you just place it kind of like that go into 3d just to see what that looks like that looks fine and now go back into the interior side and now we need to attach this to our reference planes so just go AL for align and you go like this from reference plane to this thing lock it in place from reference plane to this thing lock it in place and you do the same thing on all four sides you just lock it in place come on okay here it is locked in place and the same thing for these two lock it in place lock it in place and lock it in place okay so once we have all of this done we need to add some vertical elements because something needs to be holding these things uh, together so we're going to be adding some vertical uh, vertical columns that are going to be holding the whole facade so for that go to reference level go to create uh, extrusion and you can do just a simple a rectangle like this Okay, so once you have this rectangle, go to AL, and you can align it to this thing, lock it in place, align it to your reference plane, lock it in place, align it to this side, lock it in place. Okay, I'm getting repetitive, and here let's do it at 140, and to lock this end, you can go maybe with DI for dimension, and then do something like this, and lock it in place. Now you just mirror this around the central axis, and you have to repeat that whole thing, so you just lock it in place here, lock it there, lock it, uh, okay, AL for this side, lock it, and DI for dimension for this, lock it. Okay, so once we have all of those uh, constraints, you hit finish, then you go to the interior side, and then you can just extend this all the way up, lock it here, and just kind of repeat this here and lock it in place. And if we go into 3D, this is what it looks like. Of course, you can refine this, you can make it look nicer, you can add some filleted edges, but you get the point. This is what we're uh, what we're doing for now. Okay, so once we have this element, now it's only uh, we we only need to load it into the project and do some setup with our curtain. Uh, curtain facade or curtain wall so just go here to file new uh, project and let's choose the architectural template for this one hit ok and once you're here you just go to wall uh, architecture and let's use the wall and usually you would use the storefront because it has all of the mullions but now let's just use exterior glazing because it doesn't have any mullions so if I go into 3d as you can see there are some partitions in the glass but there are no mullions and that's what you want to have so I'm just going to go here to this curtain panel and uh, go uh, insert uh, or yeah we need to load it into project so yeah go load into project find project 2 hit ok 
and once you're here in the project the go into 3d you select uh, the whole uh, curtain wall you go into edit type and this is where you're going to be uh, changing that uh, that panel so you find here curtain panel you open up the drop menu and you search all the way down to let's see what is this called family 5 I think yeah it's probably that one hit apply yes it is so if I zoom in over here as you can see now all of these are in place so we've got our spider facade and it looks really good actually so if I go to realistic yeah that looks quite all right and now you can just play around with your curtain wall you can go create similar maybe make an arc over here kind of like that oops it should be flipped on the other side but yeah you can pretty much create any shape and this uh, curtain wall with vertical elements will hold it in place okay so that was pretty cool creating a spider facade spider curtain wall in Revit that's pretty much it for this tutorial and if you want to get this project file again uh, just go to my patreon first link in the description for only five dollars a month you can get access to all of my Revit project files okay so that's it thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice Nice day.